So how do you use an ender chest in Minecraft? In this video, I'll show you the recipe, how to use one, and all the mechanics of an ender chest. Hey, this is Raj, and if you enjoy this video, remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get daily Minecraft tutorials. Now on to the video. Ender chests are a useful way of storing items in Minecraft. The only place that ender chests generate is in the end cities. The other way you can get ender chest is by crafting one in the crafting table. To do this you'll need 8 pieces of obsidian and 1 eye of ender. If you aren't familiar on how to get an eye of ender, you can get it by crafting together blaze powder with an ender pearl. You can see that this is the recipe for the ender chest. Let's go through the different mechanics of an ender chest. The first thing is an ender chest is similar to a normal chest. An ender chest has the same amount of inventory slots as a chest with 27 slots. To drop the ender chest, you need to mine it with a wooden pickaxe or better that is enchanted with silk touch enchantment. If you don't use a pickaxe with silk touch, it'll destroy the ender chest. All ender chests for the player are interconnected, including in other dimensions. This makes it easier to transport items from the end or the nether. It gives you a backup inventory of items that are easy to access instead of having to put everything in your inventory. Each player has their own ender chest inventory. Also, other players cannot see or take anything in your ender chest. Ender chests cannot be moved by a piston. Also, it doesn't interact with hoppers, droppers, and comparators. This means that you can't put items into an ender chest using a hopper unlike the chest. So ender chests also emit a light level of 7 that is still low enough that mobs will spawn. There is also a particle effect involved with the ender chest. If you break all of your ender chests, the inventory inside will be inaccessible until you craft another ender chest. 